First of all, I want to thank you all of you for being here, even being so late. I'm Jesus Peret, I'm the CEO of TEDCAST. And in TEDCAST, we develop natural user interfaces based on voice commands and gestures for medical doctors. That's why we have been called the Minority Report for Doctors. You know, you are now thinking that is because I look like Tom Cruise, but no, you know, look twice, I'm taller than this, okay? So, let's get started with the problem, okay? So, in operation rooms and radiology rooms, there are plenty of screens with a lot of digital information that has to be manipulated in real time by doctors. And the room has to keep sterile, okay? So, nowadays, what they do is say they go outside of this room, manipulate all this information, memorize it, and then get sterile again and go inside the room, or put some kind of screens or touch screens or personal computers inside of the room. But then the sterilization gets compromised. So, we solve this problem by using our natural user interfaces. With this kind of natural user interfaces, the doctors are able to manipulate all this information in real time without touching anything. So now my, my CTO <laughs> that is trying to, to get with the, with the demonstration, you know, we have had not this break, so he's now preparing it. Are you ready for that? He's going to perform a, a live demo of one of our natural user interfaces being integrated with the Alma IT, I want to thank them for being here. The Alma IT technology, we are now uh, integrating our, our technology with them and making some kind of agreement with them. So thank you for, for coming. And my CTO is going to perform this live demo. This is not the normal uniform of TEDCAS, OK? It's only for this occasion. So, This isn't also normal for a CEO to hold the computer, OK? But, you know, it's an special day, OK? So in this product, we have integrated our software for natural interaction without touching with the uh, Beaver, which is able to build three-dimensional models of, uh, from medical standard images. And this Beaver is used widely in Europe and uh, LATAM uh, by uh, radiologists. The doctor is st stand in front of the device, raise one of his hands, and using swipe gestures, he can navigate through the different options. Doing a push gesture, he can select an, an option. OK, sure. We are going to change to the 3D mode, which is more spectacular. Doing a push gesture, he can uh, enter in a mode. And in this case, we are going to change the kind of issues that are shown in the image. We can lift more muscle or only bones. Raising again uh, his hand, he comes back to the main menu, and we can select the rotation mode, changing the perspective of the image. All, all everything without touching anything. Okay. Your time. Go on. Nice job. Thank you. Oops. Sorry. Here it goes again. Okay. Anyone from Microsoft in the room? I'm sorry. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. So, so okay. Apart from having the support of Tele Telefonica through Wira, we also have the support of Microsoft, who has been invited to Redmond to the main headquarters in order to meet personally the creator of the Kinect, Alex Kidman. And also, we have been selected by Microsoft like one of the four best applications all around the world based on Kinect. So we work with the state of the air of technology. Members of TEDCAS have a huge experience inside the Microsoft Kinect TAP program that is a very exclusive program. So we have been there from the first day it was funded. Also, our knowledge in embedded system and hardware design allow us to be technology independent. We have designed a software that is technology independent, so we are now using the Kinect of Microsoft. But we could use any other kind of auto-electronic device, for example, the soft kinetic or Pebbles camera. Talking about Pebbles, I have to say that we are now negotiating with them. They have a pretty awesome technology. This is an Israeli startup that is now in stealth mode. They wanted to come here. Finally, they were not able to, to do so. They uh, sent to me a video for me to show you of their technology. So if you allow me to, to do so, I think it's pretty interesting, pretty awesome. So it's going to be a new wave, and TEDCAS is going to be there. As you see, the gestures are much more precise, and they are able to check 
the fingers. It's one of the fingers separately, so so okay. Google heard about pebbles and tetras. Okay. So during this time we have been in the media, not only national, in national media we have been in television, we have been in radio, we have been in magazines or newspaper, but also international media. We have been in the Times, in the Wall Street Journal, and we have been in, in the Seattle Times also, and the Financial Times. The Financial Times uh, put us a reference of Kinect, Toyota, and Tezcas. I think it's a pretty unfair comparison for Toyota. So, we have also been in some events, some international events. So, for example, the prestigious Ara Health in Dubai, and also the Tech Media Europe, the ECR, or the Telefonica European Leadership event. So I think it's pretty awesome for six months. Finally, we have also won several prizes. We have won the Salomi Empresa, a prize USM, apart from Waira, another contest uh, from Microsoft, Another prize, I was telling it yesterday, but it's still non-official, so I cannot tell you the name of the prize, you know, but we have won yesterday, you had to trust me. And we are now going to be in a book, you know, it's called Smart Customer Stupid Companies. We are not a stupid company, you know, it's, it's not because of that. The rest to make everything smart and how to win it. This is an American book. We expect to have incomes the first year of 425,000 euros. This is because of the agreements we have just seen. We have, sorry, we have just met. For example, one agreement with Clarity Radiology, a company from Singapore, in order to distribute our products in Asia, okay? So we have two products in the market, the cloud solution and the local solution. And we are now negotiating, I have just said, with Alma IT. Hi, people from Alma. So we are negotiating with them in order to integrate and to have new products also. And also we are working with Udiat because they have some, some interest in our products. Finally, we are not negotiating with a distributor in South Africa. So as our mentor has said, we are a really international company, okay? How is our business model? We make strategic agreements with professional medical software companies. Why? Because they have the knowledge of the market, because they have the distribution channel we don't have, and they can provide this, this level one support. On our hand, we provide the integration of the technology, we add this technology value and provide this level to support the business model and revenue share. Another key point of our technology is, is highly scalable. Okay? We are not working with Clarity, Alma, or the app, but there are some other companies around the world we can integrate with. Um, if we take a look into our key technology key, we can see why is it possible, okay? Different from our competitors. Apart from the price, we are much more affordable. The integration is our key point, the strong point, because we have developed a software that is called Tezcas Base that is independent of the technology, so we can integrate with any kind of electronic device, and it's also independent on the medical software. So any kind of medical software you can think of, we can integrate with. So you can quote me and Twitter it, okay? So, now, my colleague, again, Daniel, is going to perform another live demo. One was not enough for Tezka, so in this case, a quite different demo. He's going to explain you why. So, uh, as Jesus said, uh, the, the main advantage of, of TEDCAS software, of TEDCAS uh, software for uh, natural interaction, is the scalability. This system demonstrates uh, the, po the inter integration possibilities of our software with any uh, medical application and any uh, hardware infrastructure. Asian radiologists ask us to develop a system, a product, uh, easy to install, easy to execute, and highly portable. What we have done is to integrate in a single package, you are seeing now, in a single package, all the electronics, all the sensors that are needed to detect gestures, movements, and users, and also uh, an embedded computer. So in this embedded computer, we have installed our software, which is automatically run, as you, as you have seen. 
uh, in this case, the, 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 the beaver is uh, quite uh, different because it is only able to display 2D uh, images, and when he detects the, the doctors, uh, he uh, shows his figure over a uh, operating room uh, background image. Again, we can do swipe gestures to navigate through the different options, and in this image you are seeing has, uh, how I am paging through the different images in the set. Or maybe I can also do a zoom. Okay, you can continue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. So you have seen our technology live, okay? And now you are watching a blue screen, okay? Well, at least our demo worked well, so this is not Tedka's fault, so. <laughs> so how many engineers <laughs> are more than enough in order to work a simple <laughs> problem? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I was telling you that uh, we have performed some pilots now, not only in Spain, which would be normal. You know, we have been in Marques of Valdesilla, in the north of Spain, in Santander. We have been also uh, at Clinic Hospital performing a pilot, which is the best R plus D hospital in entire Spain. But we have been, you know, outside of Spain. We are an international company. So we have been in Singapore in the Interventional Radiology Department and also in South Africa. You know, it's, this is pretty impressive because this hospital that I don't know how to pronounce, you know, I'm sorry. So this, this hospital is where the first human heart transplant took place. So it's, it's pretty cool because TEDCAS will be there. And this is my team. I'm really proud of all of them. Okay? I'm the CEO. I'm PhD in telecommunication. I have been in some um, institutions of first level, like NASA JPL, working there. I have also working in, I have been working in ESA projects. I have been part of a team that have developed a chip that is now in a satellite, giving digital television coverage to Europe and Brazil. And also, I have been directing a company before this, uh, which has benefit from the first year. I'm, you know, pretty proud of myself. Sorry. <laughs> and this is my CTO, Daniel Calvo, the one you have seen dressed, you know, in, in Dr. Clothes. Uh, he's a master electrical, uh, electrical engineer. He has been leading some European projects like Artemis or FP7. And apart from that, he's probably one of the best experts, the most experts in kinets all around the world. You know, he has been working the TAP program. For the first, uh, from the first day, it was funded, so I, it's pretty awesome what this guy is doing. And on the other side, this is the engineering side, but in the medical side, we have the Dr. Javier Yorca, this medical doctor in public health in Santander. And just in the middle, in order to be able to translate all this information from engineering world to medical world, we have Paloma Fuentes with a master in biomedical engineering, and Ross Artit, that is a PhD in physiotherapy and expert in new technology. So, so thank you guys for, for the work you are doing. And our financial data is what follows, you know, the income suspected for the first year, I have just said that is 425,000 euros based on the expectancies that our partners have generated on us. Our break-even point is the year three, and the investment we have done by now is 45,000 euros. 
The valuation of the company per money is 1.5 million euros, and we are now looking for 200,000 euros. So if you have something, you know, in your pockets, please <laughs> provide us, you know. Uh, mainly uh, for going for staff, you know. We are, apart from that, going for national funds for a total of 700 and 800,000 euros. So thank you very much, you know, and you know that Waira means uh, wind in Quechua. So we wanted to say to Jose Maria and to all Waira team in the same language and from the bottom of our heart and in the name of Tezcas, Sulpa, that means thank you in Quechua. Okay, that's all. <laughs>